In the 1960s, stepping on a jet was revolutionary, but risky. Today, commercial aviation is about 40 times safer than it was back then. So how did we get from an age of smoking cabins and accident-prone jets to one of the safest ways to travel on Earth? Back then, early jets were prone to engine failures and design flaws. Today, engines run for tens of thousands of hours without major issues. Composite structures resist fatigue. Aerodynamic wings squeeze out efficiency and stability. And fly-by-wire control systems, first on the Airbus A320 and later the Boeing 777, help prevent pilots from exceeding safe limits. In the 1960s, navigation was mostly radio beacons and pilot judgment. Today, GPS and flight management systems keep jets on precise paths. TCS warns pilots if aircraft come too close and ground proximity warning systems have nearly eliminated accidents where planes flew into terrain unseen. Accidents taught regulators tough lessons. Certification standards are now global and far stricter. Crew resource management training changed the culture inside cockpits, breaking down hierarchy and encouraging open communication so mistakes do not snowball into disasters. Airlines today track every near miss, every maintenance trend, every sensor feed. Predictive monitoring spots issues before they fail. Aviation shifted from reacting to accidents to preventing them in the first place. It is a proactive safety culture on a global scale. In the 1960s, fatal accident rates were about 50 per million flights. Today, closer to 1 in 20 million. That is why aviation is the benchmark for safety in transport. But here is the debate. Do you trust technology more? Or the human pilots who fly it?